It all depends on what you played in the right, early what, days. Right, what house you grew up in. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> Microsoft Studios when is uh, season 3 release date? It's in... It's one of those things I should... No, it's March. I think it's the end of March. I don't know the day, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I know it's uh, coming up very quickly. And more importantly, um, and I believe you'll see this in the community calendar stuff, we've got a bunch of information coming out at uh, PAX this weekend. So KI Cup is obviously going to be worth watching. Yes. But leading into uh, the KI Cup, we'll have character reveal, season three discussions with the panel. Um, we got Goddard down there. Adam was going to go, but he got a really nasty cold. So at least as of today, he's canceled. He may end up coming down for late weekend. We will see. Okay. But uh, lots and lots of cool information coming this month. And as we said last year, um, uh, so I see the question out here, is the game coming to Steam? Yep. It, it's not, and I'm a huge Steam fan. It's coming to Windows 10 store. But please remember that if you own this game on Xbox One today, you'll already own the Windows 10 game when we ship. So the ability to take your game and roam it, as you know, I'm sure some of you at least have roamed your profile and your game collection to someone else's Xbox, you're, you'll be able to do that with Killer Instinct, right? You'll be able to take your KI, game save, go play it on a, on a PC. Obviously, you'll need some beef to that PC. This right. thing is not going to play uh, on a, you know, some kind of mobile chipset on a small tablet. Um, but if you got a nice beefy desktop, uh, you are ready to play a pretty badass version of KI. Nice. And you'll be playing it right in the same hoppers as uh, all the rest of us. And I will go from playing on three or four different Xboxes to playing on three or four different Xboxes and two, uh, two gaming PCs. Um, somebody did ask what kind of uh, pad you use, or what kind of uh, stick you use. So I use the Tournament Edition stick. Uh, in fact, this isn't mine, mine's at home, but this is what I use uh, at home as well. And I also have my original Behind. sitting out in a bag. So the original KI fight stick that uh, Mad Cats also did, I did, I, I used that leading up to last year's Evo, which is when we, uh, I went down and gave these sticks out to the top eight. Top three, signed. Oh, wow. Something like that. It was super fun. Uh, again, it's... Uh, the, the, the cool thing about this industry is I, I get to make games. My life is good. But I love games. And it's like, it, it sounds weird. I'm a huge, huge fan of the fighting game community. I was a total fanboy at Evo. I was oh, going wow. around getting pictures with the pros. And, I, you know, I got to go up on stage and give away the award. That was awesome. Wow. You know, and, and as a... Uh, just a super long time fighting game player. I've always had respect for the FTC. I actually, when I was, uh, before I came to work for Nintendo, I lived in the Bay Area, one mile from Sunnyvale Golfland. And for people that understand, you know, the FTC, Sunnyvale Golfland and Mopitas Golfland are, are they're, that's the stuff. And obviously there are other meccas around the world. Right, right. In fact, we've got, you know, the Kayak Cup is generated from an arcade uh, in the south. I think it's in Arizona. But, um, I'd go to uh, and play games pre-release at Sunnyvale Golfland, and that's where I learned how to play Street Fighter. Um, okay. I was, again, lucky because I was working at Namco when Street Fighter came out. Uh, I was going to every arcade show in America, in Europe, and in Japan. So I was doing five or six arcade shows a year. I got to see Street Fighter II, the original, debut at an arcade show in Japan. Three weeks later, I was in Vegas when it debuted in America. Uh -huh. Uh, I was I played it the first day that it was on test in Sunnyvale Golfland, and you know again so I'm I'm a huge fan of the fighting game community and just fighting games in general. So it really was a highlight for me to be able to uh, go to Evo last year, jump up on the stage. It was nice, nice. That's exciting. Like a lot of travel too. <laughs> yeah. Well, so I've yeah, I think I'm at about 175 international trips. Okay. Millions of miles. And a couple of games in between that. Lots of games. It's, it's, again, I'm just super lucky. It, don't get me wrong, making video games is hard. Right. <clears throat> right? There's hours, there's stress, there's pressure. Very, very late night. Lots of late nights. And again, if I'm not working, I'm playing. Yep. So, I mean, games is my life. My wife is extremely understanding. I love my dear wife. Um, but uh, I, I wouldn't trade it for anything. I get to play games, I get to work with and talk to and see people and be a part of the process. Love this as much as I do. Yep. Um, and I see it all over the place. You know, I'll be out visiting 
famous developer A at, at some event. Like, I go to DICE every year. And then here comes famous developer B. And we're all just fanboys. Right. So you get a lot of, dude, oh, I love your this. Right, oh, right. I love your that. Right, I love your game. No, yeah. I love your game. Yeah. Yep, yep. And then, and, and, and it gets obviously most fun when, it, when they devolve into, here's what I would have changed. And th those conversations are even more fun when you get to sit down with some of these people and just talk to them about what they're building, what my building, what would you do, here's what I do. Here are things that I would maybe make different. Maybe here's what I would make different based on my love and passion for the game that you're making, and then same thing vice versa. Yep. The love and passion of the game you're working in. Yep. It is an industry that's. Someone did ask if your wife is a fan of any game. Um. My wife was very hardcore gamer, and again, this is her favorite story, is when we met, and this is long ago in college, I did not play video games, I skateboarded. Really? And as you can see from the thing that went up on the community, I think you put that up there, I now surf, yep. I wake I wake surf. Yeah, I saw the epic so, surfing photo. Yeah, so yep. that, that hurts a lot less than skateboarding. So I gave up skateboarding a few years ago, moved to surfing, but when I met my wife, I was 18, and... You know, come on, there was video games. It was called Space Invaders. Right. I did not like video games because right. Space Invaders was this weird machine that made noise in the back of the skate park. Um, so she played before me and was pretty heavily into it. I fell in love at in December 1980. Oh, I had a friend I'm, who worked in an arcade. Yeah, he dragged me into an arcade. Battle Zone was there. He's like, you are going to play this game. And he put five bucks and quarters into Battle Zone. And I literally have played video games every day. Jeez. Since Due I, to that $5 in that one moment. That's insane to think about. Okay. That's really Funny cool, enough, though. that ended up being half of my college education. You know, what I learned in college was I became exceptionally good at games. Yeah. I liked them. Uh, I've won my little mini versions of Evo-ish, not in fighting, but in 1983, there was a competition in the Bay Area. Yep. Uh, 27-11s had, like, a 20-week preliminary, so 400 people went to a final. Oh, okay. I came in first. So I won a defender. You had to play five games, each game for three minutes each. Right. Twice. Then you take the higher of the two scores. Okay. And add them all up. And out of 400 people, I came in first. And so I got to choose between five games I picked defender. Uh, at the time, I could play defender literally until I fell asleep. I once played defender for 27 hours on the quarter. <clears throat> I could play Robotron until I fell asleep. 27 um, hours on the quarter. With the exception of Sunnyvale Golf Land, I could go to Street Fighter games and just win. Uh, it was kind of some of my early Nintendo stories that were fun. We go to Japan, mm -hmm. and hey, you know the EAD guys. What do you want to do? I want, I want to go to an arcade. They're like, "What do you want to go drink all night?" Well, yeah, but first let's go to an arcade. Right. And I'd go to an arcade and just crush people, and they would be all standing around proud of the crazy American. Who's just sitting there, just crushing everybody? Yeah, and again, I obviously I would play people that I could uh, that would beat me. Right. But one of my favorite stories was I went there again with Nintendo with my boss and a couple people from EAD. We go to this arcade. I beat this guy, and he you know turns around and. You know, Chotomate Kurosai, just, just one second. He leaves, comes back with another guy, I beat him. They both ask me to wait, they leave, they come back with a third guy, I beat him. And then they ask, <laughs> and I didn't understand enough Japanese, so they tell our guy from EAD, please, can you wait 15 or 20 minutes? It's just, like, just wait uh, here for somebody else. Okay, so they leave and they come back with someone who just murdered and humiliated me. Oh, but wow. it was. But then they're all like, Deep bowing, you are very strong, you're Street Fighter, very good. You know? Right, right. And Interesting, they're almost bringing their own Street ranking. Yep, just bringing you up to the different challengers. Interesting. Yeah, I have thousands of memories like that. <clears throat> uh, a lot of yeah, things. Yeah, I'm old guy. I think I'm on the internet if you want to look me up. <laughs> I worked on Tour Instinct and Golden Island. And a couple other few, few things, right? A few games. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a lot of thanks, too, that I'm seeing in the chat to everyone for. AI, Fancy's Arcade Days. Um, lots of thanks for seeing and lots of love. And I think you are, I think you're going to be up next. Yeah, hopefully we have time to get me in there one more time. Oh, well, I guess I will, because if I'm up next, oh. the lobby just went bye-bye. Yep. I mean, that game. That so one. let's see, I am... Uh, I am next. 7-2. and two. All right. Okay. Against 5-0. and oh. BG, 5-0, and oh, level 50. Okay. Just please don't bring Agnos. Anybody, bring him. Bring your main. Oh, well, you got Jago. I want to fight your level 50, Jago. There we go. Bring it! Jago! Maybe? We won't see until Rage. <laughs> 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 Alright, here we go. <clears throat> Alright. Okay, Rayality. We got just, yeah, we just have a couple minutes left here, so. Uh, I can see anything, with the anything about. Jet Force Gemini. Well, it's in Rare Replay, which I'm sure had something to do with the auto uh, 
The auto repushing of the trade mark. Yeah, there's still to this day. Great start, of boys. Of that was funny. We, we did a couple streams here for it. Uh, lots of things, actually. Um, some of them I never used to play before. That was kind of my favorite part of the replay, showing some of the more classic games. I worked on several. Uh, I should now. And you are Pierce Manual. Nope. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Can't do it like that. Now I'm talking, so now I'm messing with his head. That's what I'm doing. I know. What? Very nice. See? He did. He got Should've in there. Should have stuck with it. <laughs> yes, I'm using auto doubles. Yes, I will switch to manuals here. Whoa! Combo break. Hey, I bought it back. Sorry, I can't read and lose at the same time. No, uh, <laughs> said, would you host the combo oh. break? Uh, Hey, I brought it back. I, a combo break. Oh, you're talking about yes, 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 that absolutely. Break, yeah. Oh, good game. I can't talk and fight. I want a rematch. <laughs> good game, Rayality. Very, very good. I'm afraid your path ends. Yeah, if they're micro that plus a combo break. Um, totally my pleasure, sir. I'd love to play you again when I could focus a little more. Yeah, I'm probably playing the, the, the role of distraction here. Yeah. Okay, well, I got four more minutes. Come on, whoever. Okay, bring it. Fine. Oh, it's Claudio bringing that. Okay. Yeah, it's Claudia knocked okay. against zero serenity. Oh yes, because I lost. Yeah. Claudia, Claudia knocked was. Yeah, you get a you get a breathe now. Notice my sigh of relief for a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. Claudia, Claudia was one of our winners actually. So. Yes, she is. Or oh, he or she. Yep. Uh, oh, see. And it launched today. All. Yep. It literally just launched today. It talks about all these shows, all these features. Um, Mike, yes, I do need a little KI work. Um, I've actually been practicing a little bit more, so I'm getting a little good in, in my own little good term. Like level two, if you want to put it on the level. Uh -huh. But um, yeah, the calendar just launched today. Uh, anyone can go download the app, and basically the point of it is to uh, have a community showcase of events that we do here at Xbox, Microsoft, and also the community. There's even a community-driven one tomorrow that um, you guys and gals um, running the show and hanging out. So absolutely encourage you to check it out. Um, and then, of course, if you have feedback on it, as usual, feedback.xbox.com. Uh, if you want to give the team uh, responsible for the calendar any kind of feedback on what you love, what you don't like, what you want to add, what you don't want to add. So. Um, yeah, and then we're almost, we're going to wrap up here, probably right after this fight here. We can the lobby. Well, that was super fun, everybody. I'd like to thank you for the games and hope you enjoy playing Killer Instinct, watching streams, just playing video games on any platform, whatever. Just play games. Games are good. Yep, and of course, thanks, Ken, for coming by and doing the game with. Uh, thanks to the community people who hopped in and gave Ken a challenge. Yes. Only and lost twice. Respect to Styles and Ratality and Claudio. Yes, Claudia Noct. Claudia Noct. Yep, yep. Much respect. Yep, uh, Thank thanks you very again. Much. <laughs> Check out the calendar. Uh, game with will be back. Uh, we'll have more information later. Um, make sure you download it. That way you can see who we might bring by next time. Uh, other than that, thanks everybody for tuning in and everyone have a nice day.